So I'll give you a quick unboxing here of the Shark Spark Warrior foldable pocket drone. I was a little shocked by the size of this guy. I was expecting it to be quite a bit bigger, but it is very small. So let's get in here. I've already opened this, so I know. So it folds up real nice, real small like this, and you know, fits easily in the palm of your hand. You know, I mean, look at that, and folds out arms fold out like so almost kind of looks like a a real tiny mavic that's what i kind of see when i'm looking at this guy it is nice looking quad though i mean i'm not mad at the size i'm not mad at the look of it so nice little nice little quad so let's go put him down here and we'll go in here and see what else we got so bag of goodies this is going to be your battery and full set of spare props, screwdriver, and a USB charging cable for the battery, which looks like, you know, has the charging cable there. Instruction manual, looks like a decent instruction manual. And then down here, you got your transmitter. So, pull this guy out. And there you go. Kind of uh, a little strange, these little, there's sticks here, but they, uh, these do press in. I don't know if they actually do anything or not. But all the buttons are clearly labeled. Headless mode, one key return, auto takeoff and landing, emergency stop, on off switch. Of course, you got your sliders here and your speed switch and 3D flips. It's also on 2.4 gigahertz, in case you were wondering. <laughs> I don't know why they put that so large and prominent on the, on the transmitter. But yeah, so interesting flyer, very, very lightweight and cool that it folds up. And with the proprietary battery, so it has a nice clean look, but obviously you're gonna have some charging waiting times and issues with that. So let's take this guy for a maiden flight. Before we get into the video here, I just wanna give you guys a little addendum to the, to the flight video. At the end of the video, if you stick around, you'll see that I do have some problems. One of the motors doesn't wanna spin up and I was trying to recalibrate and everything. Anyway, I looked in the manual and it says to hold the sticks in the upper left and then to the bottom right. And you're supposed to get beeps when it calibrates, but that doesn't happen. This thing, I think auto binds like immediately. Let's just show you here. So we got the, this on, we'll turn that on. There's your beep. I believe that means it's bound. I'm not sure if it does like a calibration there, but what I've been doing here now is I go upper left and then I do go bottom right. But right when I go to the upper left, it, it you know, starts up the motor. So, but anyway, we'll go, ooh, ooh. That's the other thing is when you auto launch it like that, it seems to like go to a standard height. So be, be aware of that. I just hit the, the rafter here a little bit, no big deal. But anyway, wanted to give you guys a little update because at the end of the video, like I said, I was having some problems with this guy, but I forgot it figured out. And you know, I really like the way this one flies. We'll come back with a full video. You know, it, it's still a little, that, that's a little wonky. I'm gonna say right now, it's a little wonky. But anyway, let's get to the full video right now. So here we go with the maiden flight here of the Shark Spark drone folding quadcopter. It says it's good for beginners. It is very lightweight. Actually, I left the battery over here, so let's go get that. And while we're on the subject of the battery, it is a proprietary battery. It has a little micro USB charging system here. It's a 3.7, 350 milliamp hour, 20C LiPo battery. So it's just gonna pop right in here like so little LED back here on off switch here let's power it up and see what happens are we not in what's going on there we go so I'm gonna set it down on the ground there and turn our transmitter on is it I believe it's bound it stopped flashing so all the keys here on the transmitter are labeled we have headless mode all the way to the left here one key return here auto takeoff and land here emergency stop there 3d flip and your speed switch so see what happens should we auto takeoff whoa 
stable, nice and stable. Come back here a little bit this way. I'm not mad at the hovering coming towards me a little bit. I'm a little mad at that. We don't know each other that well, Shark Spark. It says Warrior on the box also, so I'm not exactly sure if this is like a rebranded thing of something else. Altitude hold, obviously it has altitude hold, and I gotta tell you, not mad at that. I mean, I'd prefer it didn't have the altitude hold, but if you're gonna have altitude hold, better make sure it works. And this appears to work. So the transmitter is a little small. Not mad at the yaw right here. Altitude hold seems responsive. Nice white LED in the front here. Not mad at that either. Could probably fly this one at night. Pretty docile here in this first rate. Flying nice. How you guys liking this first ever basement maiden flight that's not an unboxing? Not an official unboxing. What's up with that, huh? The shark spark here. I believe they're gonna have probably a camera version instead of this LED because the transmitter also has like a little, looks like a, a hookup for your cell phone where your cell phone's gonna go. So this is just the first rate. I gotta tell you, I'm not mad at this drone. First rate here. So there we go. Let's go second rate. Two beeps on the transmitter. Yaw seems to pick up a little bit. Let's bring it in a little closer, see if we can show that a little bit better. Here's your second rate yaw. Seems a little faster than the first rate. I gotta tell you, this guy is stable. Arms fold up, nice LED on it. I'm not mad at it. Should we give this guy a flip? Why not, right? I'm gonna go low though. And then hit the flip. Ooh, nice flips. I'm not mad at the flips. Can we get a funnel going? Kind of. That's not bad, right? This is only second rate still. So let's go to the third rate. I think the yaw might even be a little bit faster here on this third rate too. Let's see if we can bring it back. We'll give you a little yaw spin and pirouette. A real stable little guy. I gotta tell you, I'm impressed with this guy so far. Not a bad funnel on the third rate. I mean, let's bring it in a little over here. Maneuverable little sucker. Oh, we don't, we don't know each other that well, Shark Spark, Warrior Drone. You gotta be careful what you're doing here with me. I mean, I'm telling you, it's, it flies pretty good, even with the altitude hold. Although it's gonna mess me up for my non-altitude hold quads here, where I, gotta, I don't have to worry about the throttle as much. And I gotta tell you, altitude hold doesn't seem real wonky on this guy. Flip, ooh, flip's pretty good. Flip's pretty good. I gotta tell you, so, like I said, I picked this guy up on a lightning deal from Amazon. Regularly goes for about 29, so let's call it 30 bucks. And picked it up for 25. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I posted one of those like community post type deals. Just YouTube gave me the notification that very day that I had the ability to do that now. So I figured I'd give you guys a heads up on that. Let me know if you guys like that, if you wanna check out you know, when I get a deal or hear something about something that doesn't warrant necessarily a whole video. You guys want me to post those things? I saw a couple of people commented on it. Really appreciate those comments. Appreciating this funnel here too. Man, I am kind of liking this guy so far. It's flying good. We're we gonna hit the pole? Let's stop before we hit the pole. I gotta tell you, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at this drone at all. So far, it seems like a winner. You got a nice little funnel pirouette. I mean, it doesn't have an insane yaw rate, but I'd say it's probably the, I'd say this is the yaw rate I like. One thing is the, the sticks on here are a little bit weird. If, you, if you're a pincher, I don't think you'd be able to use this guy because it, it feels a little, it's kind of like the Sima X20, but it's not really sliders. There are thumb pads and sticks there, but I can get my thumbs on them and I'm not having a problem myself flying this as a thumb flyer. But if you pinch, you're gonna kind of hit these little lips here. So that might be an issue for you. While we're still got battery, why don't we try our auto land here? Auto land. 
So we'll hit the button. Boom. Dude, $30 for this? Are you kidding me? Dude. Dude. Let's go. Let's go back up. Let's run the battery down to LVC at least, right? I'm, I don't want to mess around with this battery because it's proprietary and we only get one. So that's the one con I'm seeing right now. You only get the one battery. And it took about a half hour to charge from, you know, probably what, what they had on was the stores charge, I, was, I would assume, in the, you know, when they send them to you. So we'll see what the charging time's like when we run the battery down all the way. Man, I like the way this flies. And it folds nice, too. Smaller than I was expecting it, too. I expected it to be a little bit larger, but hey, I'm not mad at it. Not mad at it. Not mad at this flight time, either. What are we doing here? What are we doing? Whoa. Lives, it gives itself a little bit of altitude when it flips, but not like a ton. Oh, it recovers real nice, too. I mean, come on, guys. Look at this guy. Got the LED staring right at us. Staring right at us. What? Should we get a thumbnail while we're here? Look how stable this thing is. Let's try and get a little thumbnail. Live thumbnail. This is how I get my thumbnails for my 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 videos. Let's get it into a, a spot. And let's go. Boom. Boom. Maybe up here. Oh. I don't know if any of those are usable. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Live thumbnail getting with the with the Google Pixel. Let's see what we got here. Get a focus. Focus. Don't run into the phone. Alright. Alright. I got you. So we'll see if this this might be the one and only video. It's raining out right now, or else I'd give you guys a Maiden Zero Dark 30 flight. And so it was kind of a, a crummy day. That's why we're indoor flying here. I'm down on my knees, down in the basement, giving you guys the maiden flight of the Shark Spark Warrior Drone. Folding drone, altitude hold. It does have headless mode, it has returned to home. You guys know I don't like this stuff though, right? It's got this nice LED. What happens when we hit it? Oop. Ooh, pretty stable little guy. Let's do that again. Boop. You know, when your, your grandparents come up to you and hit you on the nose like that? You guys liking that? I, I gotta tell you, right off the bat, I'm pretty impressed with this little drone. Folds nice. It also has emergency stop. Should we test it? Ooh, emergency stop. I'm not mad at that. Ooh, we're flashing here. Is that our LVC? I guess I'll, I'll assume that's the LVC. So, hey, you know, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm pretty impressed with this guy. So, Shark Spark, about, it goes for about 30 bucks. Put it in your Amazon wish list if you so choose. Get a lightning deal, we've already had one on it. So, I'm actually gonna put this down and see. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna guess that's LVC. Or maybe not, no, we're stopped here. Maybe it just, uh, cause we did that emergency landing. So why don't we, uh oh. Uh oh, what happened there? Uh oh, what's going on? I spoke too soon. I speak too soon. What's going on there? Let's reset it. Let's give it a reset. Hard reset. I spoke too soon, dude. What did I wear this guy out or something? What's going on here? So what I'm going to do is hit the auto takeoff again. Uh oh, oh no. This guy. Did I get a bum one here or what? What's going on? Let me try a uh, recap. Is there some sort of, maybe I'll check the manual for recalibration. So what happens if I go both sticks down like that? Ooh, we got problems here. We got problems. We got problems. Hmm, am I doing something wrong here? Am I doing something wrong with the shark spark? It says Shark Spark right here. I just noticed that finally. Hmm. Might have to be sending this one back. Let's, let's pull the battery out and everything. It's worrying me though with the, uh, you know, those motors not spinning up. That's not a good sign. I was super impressed with this guy. All right, let's, let's give it one more. One more go maybe. Maybe we're just low on battery too. I mean, sometimes these quads do weird things when they're low on battery. 
So let's go auto take off. No. It might just not have enough juice to take off. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe that was the LVC warning. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to monitor the situation here with the shark spark and I'll get back to you guys. So we'll see what happens. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope we get this guy working again because I was enjoying it. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.